And what, no what doubt. Did you, what did you make of that Mike Silver report, like with the phone and all? Because that was one thing that I thought was weird. Is like everybody says he's the greatest guy ever, but then all of a sudden that report comes out that he's been ghosting them this whole time, and uh, it just seemed odd and weird. And I'm not sure. Yeah, where. when he went when he went away to work out for the off season, how they couldn't get a touch with him and things yeah. like that. Right. Well, look, I'm I'm really tight with Mike Silver. Uh, he ain't pulling that stuff out of his butt. Hmm. You know, yeah. that's information. That's information he's getting from the team, from Don Yee, you know, Garoppolo's agent. I don't know, but somewhere in that circle, he's getting that information. Um, if it happened, it happened. But a lot of guys do that, you know, to their teams. It may not necessarily ghost them, but they might not be anywhere to be found once the offseason hits. You know, they may they may pick up the phone. You know, they may stay in communication. But, I mean, imagine being Jimmy Garoppolo. You took this team to the Super Bowl. You didn't take them, but you were the quarterback of the team that went to the Super Bowl. And then what? Two years later, you know they're giving up the farm to trade for your replacement. Then you get this team, you help get this team to the NFC Championship game, and they're like, "Yeah, we're done with you." And I mean, it wasn't like they got their butts kicked in the NFC Championship game. You know, Jimmy did have a couple picks though. So, but they just feel that they've got somebody who can get them. Beyond, much like Jim Harbaugh thought that Colin Kaepernick could get the Niners beyond what Alex Smith set up, and it worked. Yeah, I mean, seriously, the Niners were five yards away from a Super Bowl win over the Ravens in New Orleans. 